everybody. I'm Amber. I'm one of the educators at the Frick Environmental Center. I'm here with Caitlin and she's standing a safe distance away filming. So I'm going to take my mask off. Whew. And there are so many different habitats here at Frick Park. And I wanted to introduce you to just one of them today. And it is one of my favorites. Behind me is the meadow. The meadow is a wide open area with lots of tall grasses and flowers. It is a sunny place and there are so many living things in Frick Park that need the meadow to get everything that they need to survive. They use it for food, water, shelter, space, and air. We're going to take a moment to look at some of the living things that need the meadow. Plants are an extremely important part of the meadow. There are so many different plants in the meadow. Plants and flowers. I'm surrounded by so many different ones right now. When Caitlin and I went for a walk to show you some of the flowers that, and plants that were in the meadow, we saw ones that were pink, some that were purple, some that were yellow. We even saw one that looked like a snowflake. Because there are so many plants here in the meadow, it is the perfect place for insects. Hey everybody, I'm Caitlin, and like Amber said, today we are exploring the meadow. Now because Amber's filming right now and I'm a safe distance away from her, I'm going to take off my mask while I talk to you. Okay, so there are so many insects that you can find here in the meadow. You might see a bee buzzing from flower to flower in search of their food. You might see a butterfly flying over using all of the amazing space in the meadow. You might even see an ant crawling around under leaves looking for shelter. You will see so many insects on the different plants and flowers when you go to explore the meadow. We went for a walk to show you some of the insects that we found. Because the meadow has so many plants and is such a great home for insects, there are lots of other animals, some small and some large, that need the meadow as well. 
Now we don't always see the animals in the meadow, but smaller animals like mice or rabbits or squirrels rely on the meadow for plants, seeds, and insects. And larger animals like foxes or deer or hawks will also need the meadow for food and protection. Here are some that we found today. So this is just what our meadow looks like here at the Frick Environmental Center, which you can come and visit. But meadows look different in different places. Some of them can be really small, some of them are really big. You can explore a meadow in your local park or find a patch of tall plants while walking around your neighborhood with an adult. Many patches of tall plants found along the sidewalk are like tiny meadows and have similar plants to our meadow here at Frick Park.